Well, here we are. Sunny day, Easter Saturday. Not much wind. No sailing, and we're locked down, so everybody's at home. Uh, but I thought, well, I just want to do something with my boat. And one thing I thought about was maybe having a look at the rig. And one part of the rig that I find a little bit confusing, to be honest, um, and I've just left it as it's come with the original setup from uh, the boatyard at Beer, is the angle of the spreaders. Now, I think they have quite a profound effect on the shape of the sail, and particularly for different crew weights. And it's important to uh, match the two. I've got my mast down, um, put it on the floor, and I've marked the original positions so that I know where to go back to. And maybe we'll just have a look and see what effect it actually does have. I'll put the mast up on the boat a little bit later on, and then we can have a look at the two extreme positions and just see exactly what they do. Uh, I've marked where the original settings were, so we've got quite a lot of variation here. So we've got, I've got four holes. Now obviously on each mast, and yours may well be different, but the principles are the same, that we've got the uh, amount of angle that we can put in by changing the bottom screw here. This is the pivot point, and then we've also got the length that we can adjust here. And this one's just it's easily done, it's just got a pin, you can just pull it out move it up and down. I'm just going to leave that one here for the moment because I don't think that's necessary to look at. I'm just going to concentrate on this area here. And in fact, I'm going to leave that one where it is for the moment and we're going to adjust the bottom. And this will change the angle of the spreader. And as I said, we're going to see exactly what effect it has. So I'm going to start with it set like this in the original position. And then I'm going to move it to this extreme one. And we'll see the difference in the shape of the sail. We'll go from there. Okay, so I've taken that out and I've got it marked so I know where to go back to and I'm just going to move it round. I might have to loosen the other one off a little bit because this is restricting the movement a bit. Sorry about the hat, but it's very sunny today. It's not my normal sailing hat, I realise. But... And this line is up a bit. Hat's fallen off, of course. Now make sure when you do check your rig, that the nut is a locking one because you don't want it to come undone in the middle of it when you're sailing, uh, particularly when you're leading a race. <laughs> well, any time really, but um, it's most important when you are leading. So let's move that, take that out, and pull this one. Might need a bit of a bash. So I've moved it that amount. So, I don't know if you can see on the camera, put the pin in, right, so I'm just going to move it, get it in the right place, put the pin back in, it needs a bit of a hump, but it gets there, and the pin, try not to lose it. Okay, so let's put it on the boat. Got these fast pins that are really good, so they just literally pull out, pull in, push in, and then I wrap it round uh, with tape like this to stop them coming undone. There's another one under here, and it just means that we can take the rig down very easily. And um, if I need to adjust the rake of it, I can literally just do that, push them back in again, all done very quickly. And just for ease of use, I then put the, the pin on there so we can get it pretty easily. Put this one, take this one out. Put this one over here already so I can grab it quickly. It goes on to there. Quite happy. And then we have the mast up. I'm just going to go and get Maggie to give me a hand. I can do it on my own, <coughs> I think. But I'm going to get Maggie to give me a hand because you never know. It might fall down. I don't want to break a window. which is really good. I'll just show you what they're like. So, literally, they just push through like that and they're brilliant. End of the boom. I've just got one of these drop pins and that 
hopefully we'll just go through quite easily. Probably, probably won't because I'm filming it. There we are, just done like that. Finished, brilliant. Okay, so we've got the rig up. I'm going to put the sails up. I'm going to put the jib up first, get the rig tension on where I want it to be, put the main up and we'll have a look and see exactly the shape of it and then we'll change it, change the rig and do the same again. Right, so we're just going to look at the mast bend. This is the standard setting I got from the boatyard at Beer uh, when the boat was new. I haven't really changed it since then and it seems to go quite well so I don't feel the need to. But we're looking at the mast bend with that standard setup. And then what I'm going to do is take it down, take the mast down, change the spreader angle as we discussed and then see what difference that makes. Okay. significant it's the same settings as we had before so unbelievably I've just proved my point so the mast is very much straighter than it was I think you can see that and but that's with the same settings all I've done is move the shrouds um, forward with the, the spreaders and that's just flattened the mast in the middle where the spreaders are and what it's done is made the sail a bit fuller and in fact the sail I found with the original settings wasn't filling properly and now it's got a nice on the side. You can see the deflection from the spreaders pulling forward and that's flattening the mast in the middle. Right so there we have it. So by bringing the spreaders forward you flatten the middle of the mast that makes the sail fuller and gives more power. So if you have a heavier crew weight say 22 stone, 23, 4 stone, maybe even a bit more than that, then this is what you want to do. You want to bring the spreaders forward, flatten the mast, give you a, a better shaped sail and more power from the rig. If you, you're like Maggie and I, we're probably about 20 stone at tops, so by having a rig set up like this we'd be totally overpowered when the wind, wind rises and we'll, we wouldn't be able to keep the boat upright. So I'm going to put the rig back to where it was because that way Maggie and I can cope with the conditions and we have the mast much more bent and that depowers the rig and we're able to survive in most conditions by doing that. But of course you can see how quick it is to change the settings and so if we are, um, are experiencing a really light day like today maybe I'd want to do this and I would change the settings depending on the wind strength. So with the higher winds, more mast bend. With the lighter winds, more power straight from the mast by changing the spreaders. Now some people have got little rub screws and things on their spreaders and they can change them very easily. You don't need to take the mast down, you just put the mast on, on its side, boat on its side, and change the spreader, spreader setting by doing that. You don't need to take the mast down. But of course, this is all paving here. I'm not going to take the boat off the trolley and start tipping it over so it's much easier just to take the mast down it's quite quick to do that with these fast pins so there you have it i hope you've enjoyed it thank you